The Narbonnaise Regional Park sits on the western shores of the Mediterranean, in the Occitanie region of southern France. It is part of a biodiversity hotspot and is rapidly becoming a popular new birdwatching destination. Find out why as we take you on a short journey through the park from the Lecat headland in the south to the banks of the river Aude in the north. And you will see the patchwork of different habitats that are home to many of the emblematic Mediterranean birds and other species. The Rakat headland is a well-known observation spot for spring migration on the western Mediterranean flyway. Views south towards the Pyrenees overlook the narrow strip of land between the lagoons and the sea. Birds are funneled up this lido as they fight the strong northwesterly winds to stay on land. On a good day, birds can be seen in their thousands with some flying past very low and close, providing exceptional views. The headland is also well known for its mosaic of vineyards, dry stone walls, open grassland and the scrubby garrigue. From late January, the almond blossom brightens up the landscape. The vineyards are open areas, providing good hunting grounds for many different species. And they offer unlimited perching posts all year round. The view north shows the succession of coastal lagoons and working salt pans, which are important for shore and water birds. One of the highlights of the Narbonnaise Regional Park is the string of coastal lagoons and working salt pans, which are important for overwintering and nesting water birds. Water level management at these sites makes them attractive to a large number of water birds for nesting, resting on migration, and for overwintering. Turning inland, the Corbier Hills are just a short drive away. Numerous capitals, or bothies, dot the landscape, evidence of former times when vast flocks of sheep and goats once grazed the area. Craggy, garrigue-covered hills are interspersed with mixed areas of open farmland and patches of evergreen oak forest. Quiet back roads offer plenty of opportunities for roadside birdwatching. Traditional winemaking villages offer convenient stopping places in the coastal Corbière hills and are home to a different range of species. The Garrigue is a habitat made up of an aromatic mix of juniper, cistus, rosemary and thyme and includes patches of open grassland. Wander at ease amongst this Mediterranean vegetation and you will spot a whole host of interesting birds, some resident and others nesting summer visitors. Spring sees the Garig come alive with a festival of wild orchids and other flowers. Steep-sided rocky outcrops are home to a good range of raptors, including the summer-visiting short-toed eagle and the resident Bonelli's eagle. Griffin vultures pass through the Narbonnaise Park regularly.
This rocky Mediterranean river gorge offers a completely different habitat, with resident crag martin and blue rock thrush. It is also interesting for dragonflies, amphibians and other riparian species. A short drive back down to the coast brings us to the marshy reed beds of the Narbonnais, home to a whole host of warblers, herons and other birds typical of this habitat. and the internationally renowned Rock de Cognac is just around the corner. Famous for autumn migration, you can see up to 29 different species of raptor from this strategically positioned hill. In the autumn, the birds arrive from northern Europe down the Rhone Valley. When they get there, the strong northwesterly wind pushes the birds towards the coast. But as they won't fly over the sea, they are concentrated along the coastline and pass inland of the La Clap headland over the Rock de Cognac. Just a few kilometres up the coast, in Fleuridaud, a different show is on offer. Picnic on the benches around the church or enjoy a coffee while you watch the lesser kestrel antics above your heads. Along the banks of the River Oud, your challenge is to catch a glimpse of the exceedingly shy golden oriole. Melodious warblers and rollers are fortunately much easier to see, as are the bee-eaters, often hunting or perching just a few feet from the road. The grassy meadows attract good numbers of glossy ibis and other birds with strange calls hide in the long grass. The unmistakable call of the eagle owl concludes our short journey. With good birding, delicious food, excellent wines and sunshine most of the year, why not choose the Narbonnais Regional Park for your next birding holiday? Easy access from a number of regional airports in the UK means you can be here within a couple of hours. So come and see for yourselves why the Narbonnaise is one of Europe's newest birdwatching and wildlife hotspots. Well, I discovered birding in this area because uh, I went here for my work and uh, I was in my garden just starting looking birds. I'm a bird watcher for 30 years already. And uh, I was really surprised by the birds I saw just in my garden. I would like to explain this is a really great destination. Come and look for yourself, experience it yourself. This is, this is really good in terms of uh, to see all the, the, the southern species from, from Europe. <laughs>